What is going on guys? This is TriCerverSportsHop.com and today we are talking about the Maverick Havoc defense lacrosse head. Let's go ahead and break this guy down. All right guys, so right here I have the Maverick Havoc defense lacrosse head. This thing is, is pretty beefy, uh, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, before I break down any of the details, I'll go ahead and take a look up in the corner on the scale. This guy weighs in at 5.6 ounces. Now, I know you're thinking that that might be a little bit heavy compared to what else might be out there, uh, but in reality, when you, if you look at something that's 5.5 versus 5.6, you're really only talking about the weight of like maybe three paper clips. Uh, but in reality, it's a defense head. It needs to be a little beefy. It needs to be kind of hefty to be able to take the abuse that these guys are going to dish out on this thing. So the weight isn't as crucial. Uh, but in reality, let's go ahead and break down some of the details behind this guy and get a better look at what the Havoc has to offer you. Starting right here at the base of the throat, you have that Maverick uh, insignia right there, which is really nice. Nice Havoc logo on the ball stop. Really clean, too. They also have this kind of odd center, you know, bottom stringing hole. Um, whether or not that's functional or not, that's up to you when you string it. Uh, but it's actually a pretty cool idea. They've just given you more options coming through the bottom side. Uh, you do have two screw holes, right? Dual screw holes. Uh, and then if we look here, they've got the Havoc logo. Now the crazy part about the Havoc logo on this one, it's almost like uh, some of their other heads in the past where it's the bottom half of the word is actually extended out and then the top half is extruded in, kind of embossed, so it looks as if the, the letters are flat on a curved surface, which is kind of cool, right? Right there. Uh, and then one, two, three, four braces up the sidewall of this guy. This is like, this thing is a monster. Uh, as you can see too, it's got that level four bottom rail. It gives you that really sweet kind of mid, uh, mid high pocket gonna give you a ton of added power, a lot of added control. And then speaking on the control of things, the face shape is actually really lending itself to more control. It's got a nice pinch coming up through the top, so you've got plenty of ball retention in there. And then again, between that and that level four bottom rail, you've got a lot of control coming out of this guy. One big thing that you'll notice, if I flip it up this way, so the, the scoop, right? They actually are uh, kind of changing the name of this a little bit. See if I can show you the logo. See the little GC that's in there? See if I can get it to like shine in the light. So that stands for ground control. And uh, what it is is it's, it's actually like the whole geometry of the entire scoop. It's really aiming at, uh, at improving your ground ball play regardless of traffic. So if you're in a scrum or if you're all on your own, you're going to know that you're going to be able to dominate those GBs without any problem whatsoever. Uh, and then again, to talk about these four braces, you'll see the twist in there, right? That's the X-Rail technology, so they're able to reduce a little bit of a weight uh, while still keeping it as stiff as possible. This thing is like, it hurts my hands to try to compress it vertically. Uh, it is pretty serious. It is, in de uh, it is designed for that elite level defense player. Uh, it's gonna be able to give you some accuracy, so if you can sting a corner with a long pole, go for it. Uh, but this thing is built like a machine. Also, right there, right, really nice. Made in the USA. Really clean and simple uh, backside of the scoop. And then as we come down, you'll notice that you've got some larger stringing holes that slightly shrink down into that, that typical kind of like slanted diamond maverick shape that you know. Um, they, work, they work really well. You're able to string a really nice pocket in there. A little bit of a thin backside here on the back of the side rail, which is okay because it'll help keep your knots in place. And then again, like I said, that five hole across the bottom. You've got tons of cutouts. They did do their best on trying to reduce the weight, but again, this is a defense head. It needs to be a little heavier to be able to take the punishment. So 5.6 ounces isn't the end of the world. Uh, but one more time all the way around, really nice throat design, simple ball stop, four X-rail uh, incorporating sidewall braces with a level four mid pocket. Uh, uh, mid high pocket kind of design on the bottom rail and ground control so that's the whole geometry of the scoop kind of giving you pure dominance on a ground ball situation that is the maverick havoc defense lacrosse head all right guys so that is the rundown on the maverick havoc this thing is going to be a monster on the field it is hefty it is beefy it is stiff 
It's pretty much almost everything an elite defense guy is going to look for in a head, not to mention it's got some few, a few new technologies. Uh, it is constructed with Durotuff material, so it's going to be very applicable regardless of the climate that you're in. It's got ground control technology in there now. That's new for, for this head. But guys, if you like the Havoc, you can let me know by clicking the like button, or even better, hit the subscribe tab. There's a recommended video that's floating up beside me. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and have a great day.